So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to make a song using only one synthesizer. Emphasis on the word challenging because this was definitely more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. But here's what I came up with. below what you think but either way not bad for one synth right but let's hop into the DAW I got some cool sound design stuff some cool effects that I want to show you and these are the things that really helped me get the most out of all these synthesizer parts as you can see let's get into the key sounds first because that's kind of the backbone of this whole tune so the main keys part that is playing throughout the entire track is this mini freak preset called Nex N-E-K-S and I love it it's like a vintage 80s electric piano sound. It's one of my favorite patches. The preset is programmed with a few digital effects, distortion, chorus, and reverb. And I left these all as is, except I turned the reverb off. And that's our main key sound. I do have a really nice lush reverb on this key sound, courtesy of the new Cashmere Reverb plugin. The lovely people over at Dharma Studio invited me to check out this Cashmere Reverb plugin, and it's a perfect fit for this tune. So thank you to Dharma Studio for sponsoring this video. Without the plugin on, this is what we got. Without. With. And honestly, one of my favorite things about this plugin is there are so many presets. Just from a quick workflow standpoint, it's nice to just grab a preset off the shelf, make a couple minor tweaks, but then you're right back to making music. So I really like that. I also really like this soft transient feature. You can see when you hover over one of the controls, it'll tell you what the control does. Soft transient removes harsh attack from the reverb, making it sound more tonal. So I used this a lot, actually. It just kind of softens the tone of the reverb, makes it a little bit more lush sounding. Coming over here to section one, this is kind of what I would envision the hook section to be, especially when that melodic lead comes in. And the sound is definitely close, but I needed it to have a little bit more bounce. So I took this part and I literally just copied and pasted it on a new track. And this mini freak patch is called PB Funky Keys. A very classic synthesizer sound. It's kind of like a synth brass patch. Very quick attack, very quick release. It's a sound I like to use a lot as a layer to just kind of add some bounce to it. You can play with the resonance to kind of add in some more funk. And we got the same reverb bus on PB Funky Keys as we do on our next keys kind of glues everything together, makes it sound like it's one sound as opposed to two sounds, which I like. Love the way that came out. Now, while we're on this section, I quickly want to touch on the bass since we're right here. I was playing around with some funky bass parts, but it just felt so good to have the bass staying in unison with the keys. Take a listen. The patch is called Adlib Dreams. Love this bass sound. And to kind of add a little bit more sauce to our bass part, I got a little bit of sausage fattener coming in from a bus track. Does anybody still use sausage fattener in 2023 or am I the only one? Probably the latter. I also added in the Logic Stock bass amp. I was working quick. I scrolled through a bunch of presets till I could find one that I liked. Didn't tweak it at all. Here's what it sounds like. Without. With. 
What's also nice is in this bass amp plugin, we've got EQ, we've got compression, so we don't really need to add too much else. Now the one left over from those funkier bass parts I was experimenting with was this little sound here. Very 90s R&B, New Jack Swing. This patch is called Mr. Funky B. Now, believe it or not, these next five parts are only two patches. Our first patch is a strings patch. It's called Envy Delays. I love this sound. Take a listen. Really nice classic synth string sound. And on this, I added a little RC20. I just wanted to add like small quantities of a bunch of stuff. And RC20 is great for that. And then we've got another instance of Cashmere Reverb. And for this part, I came down here to the synth presets and just played around with a bunch of these and this Super Saw Leads sounded great. Take a listen. like the built-in EQ in this plugin. It allows you to shape the tone of your reverb sound. And then this little chime sound is actually the Envy Delays string patch again. I've got this really cool reverse hall preset on Cashmere Reverb. Listen to this. And our mix knob is only a 5% because this is a pretty extreme sounding reverb. Listen to it a little more maxed out. Really cool effect. I dig this one a lot. Moving on to one of my favorite Mini Freak patches, Lola Seed, I think is how you say that. Just a little bit of RC20 in there for some width on the wobble module. And then for the reverb, I was down here in these synth presets and I really liked lead hall and I liked lead thickener, but they were kind of doing two different things. So here's lead hall. And then this lead thickener preset was really cool. Here's what just the reverb sounds like. Just really adding some nice space to it. And with the part, it just felt so funky to me. So I busted out and added both reverbs. The arpeggiator part is the Lola Seed preset again. This time we've got Mini Freak's built-in arpeggiator turned on. I've also got Sound Toys Pan Man on, which I love. I use this all the time. I've got another Halt reverb that I'm using. It really brings a lot out of this sound. Check this out. Really nice and spacious. I like it. Now, the drums were a fun little challenge. So I came to these DNB drums. So I played that loop. I bounced it in place, chopped out the kick that I like, and threw it into a quick sampler. Then I recorded the kick part that I wanted and I had my kick. Got some EQ on this, as well as sausage fattener to give it a little more heft. And then for hi-hats and snare, I didn't find anything in the presets that I was really digging. So it's really simple to make a hi-hat sound. You just take a noise oscillator, really quick attack, really quick release. And then you can start to filter until you get a sound that you like. You can mess with the envelope to get like the right stick against metal sound that you want. The snare sound again, pretty easy to make. And then I started playing with the cutoff. Start playing with the resonance a little bit. Play with the envelope a little bit too to give it a little bit more of a slow attack. So it really feels like a shaker. Sounds like a shaker. So I threw that in there as well. And then I took a snare hit and reversed it just to give it a little bit of a accent. 
Another sound that I was playing around with was this full drum kit preset. And what's cool about this is if you use the macro controls on Mini Freak, you kind of filter it out in real time. So I just played that little loop and I bounced it and just chopped it up a little bit. I had a lot of fun with these sound effects presets. One of the first ones to stand out to me was this Snowflakes preset. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Snowflex. Oh, Snowflex, okay, cool, got it. Okay, so the Snowflex preset. It's just a bunch of chaos. So what I did, same thing, I played this out and then I chopped up all of these little parts that I really liked. It's pretty much just those high pitched repeating noises just for a little bit of interest in the background of the mix. And this last little sound effects part, KSD1, was just this KSD patch. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend trying this with whatever synthesizer or whatever your favorite instrument is at the moment. You're gonna walk away really knowing your instrument inside and out. Thanks again to my friends at Dharma Studio for sponsoring this video and for inviting me to check out the awesome Cashmere Reverb plugin. And it was a perfect fit for this tune. So you can check out more videos like this one right over here. I'm Patrick, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.